Well, I agree with uh, the feminist activist I was just interview. Um, it's not enough. And it seems that it's just um, it's just about communication. Uh, we were it was announced that there would be a Grenelle. A Grenelle means in French that um, actors from different sectors, so the legal sector, the uh, administration, uh, private public actors, gather uh, together to think about concrete solution to end the problem. Mm. The problem being that in 2019 in France, more than 138 women uh, were killed by the husband or their ex-husband. But the problem is that um, even though we were announced that there would be such a, um, a, a, a big, um, how would say that, organization or um, event, the problem is that the measures either already exist um, or there is no new budget uh, dedicated to those measures uh, so that they can be applied. Because if you announce a new measures, which is great, um, some of the measures are new. For instance, there's one that I like very much. Um, they want to create centers uh, to accompany, um, to accompany, sorry, um, the men who um, were violent to their wives. Uh, previously. Mm. And those centers would actually accompany them so that they can uh, go out of the, you know, the, the, the circle of violence. Um, I think it's a great measure. But the problem is that there is no new budget dedicated to those centers. Mm. So it seems that it's only measures and, um, and announcements and, and nothing behind it. Nothing behind it. But the French prime minister did say that there's no, there's no money that, that won't be spared on this endeavor, because this is something that the government has called France's national shame. Absolutely. And um, therefore, we don't understand why there's no new budget. It was announced uh, this morning that, for instance, there would be a budget of 1 billion euro, more than 1 billion euros dedicated to gender equality, not violence, it's mm. just gender equality. But when you see at, um, when you look at what there is inside this budget, it's only things that already exist in different areas. And especially 75 percent of this budget is dedicated to projects outside of France. Mm. So it means there's only a quarter of this budget that is dedicated to France and a part of this quarter dedicated to violences against uh, women. So the, the real budget is 360 million euros and it hasn't changed in years. In, why, in your opinion, why does France have this this such a high mm. number of femicides in this country? Uh, because um, there's no measures and there's no um, significant measures that can actually make this number go down. For instance, in Spain, they um, they implemented a plan a few years ago, and this plan this plan included uh, both, um, for instance, for women when they would go to uh, the police to denounce the fact that they husband or ex-husband uh, would be violent against them there would be um they would accompany them legally and financially so that they can leave their home and mm. and they can they would be uh, taken in charge by the administration in france there are no such thing if you go to the police first you're most likely um the police would most likely tell you that you shouldn't actually do it because it will going to be complicated it's going to take a long time and it's going to put you in danger this is the first thing um, the second thing would be that even if the police take um the statement that you give there is no economical or legal um, um, way for you to be accompanied by the administration. So you can just leave the police station with no help whatsoever. And you can the only way that you can go on with your life is that you go home to the husband or to the, the person who's violent against you. So there is a problem. And, and this government, nor the government series, uh, previously, took this matter seriously. But uh, to be fair, I mean, this last year we had the the gender equality minister, uh, you know, come out with a law against catcalling. So the government has been taking small moves to, you know, mm. help. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, um, um, I think that uh, most of the measures that have been um, uh, pronounced by the government or the the gender equality minister um, or more or less just about communication. When you look at those measures, you can see that there is um, no raise in the budget. And you know that when there is no raise in the budget, mm. then the law, you can make like hundreds of laws so it's and just, they you, won't you be think applied. So it's more, more just about uh, communication and less about action? Yes. And this is a big problem.
And uh, what, what can what can uh, you know NGOs and activists like yourself do to to get the government to actually deliver on what they're saying? Well, for instance, yesterday more than 150,000 women and men marched in the streets of Paris and a few uh, uh, cities around France to denounce the fact that the government isn't doing enough for women. Mm. And um, for instance, the prime minister this morning didn't even mention those marches, mm. even though it's an historical moment and. Um, we're talking about women and we're talking about men also who are fed up with uh, the government saying that they're doing lots of things and when look at it, there's actually nothing being done.